Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. What is the most haunted castle in Ireland? Our vote for the most haunted castle in Ireland goes to Mullahide Castle which is the proud home to at least five ghosts. The Talbot family owned Mullahide Castle for almost 800 years, with only a period of brief interruption between 1649 to 1660 when the forces of Oliver Cromwell took over the castle and it was given by Cromwell to Miles Corbett, one of his followers. Miles Corbett however met a terrible fate when he was hanged and quartered at Mullahide for his atrocities during Cromwell's reign and for being a traitor to the crown. The castle is north of Dublin and sits on 260 acres. Sir Richard Talbot was the original owner of the castle. For this service to Henry II during the Anglo-Norman conquest of Ireland he was granted the lands and port of Mullahide. The oldest parts of the castle date from the late 12th century, although it was enlarged and the towers added in 1625 during the reign of Edward IV. The castle remained in the hands of the Talbot family, with the exception of Corbett, until 1976. The seventh baron, Lord Milo Talbot, died in 1973 and the estate passed to his sister Rose. Rose sold the castle to the Irish state in 1975, partly to cover inheritance taxes. Rose died peacefully at Mullahide House, Tasmania in 2009. The Talbot family history is mired in tragedy, thus the troubled spirits that are reportedly haunting the castle. Maud Plunkett was a charming young woman, daughter of the Baron of Killeen. She and a young soldier, Walter Hussey, Lord Galtram, fell in love. When Lord Galtram was in the service, his father asked permission of the Talberts to marry in Mullahide. The Talberts agreed. There are two versions of Lord Galtram and Maud Plunkett's wedding day. One version says that Galtram was ambushed, stabbed and killed by a rival on his way to the wedding. The other states that Galtram and Plunkett were married on Whit Monday morning 1429. A few hours later, Galtram was killed in battle, possibly at the hands of a rival. Whatever the case, the ghost of Lord Galtram haunts Mullahide Castle, wandering the halls, moaning and pointing to the spear wound in his side and also bemoaning the loss of this loved one to a rival. Maud eventually ended up with a third husband who was a Lord Chief Justice at the time. According to legend, Maud and the Lord Chief Justice often quarreled, with Maud often being the instigator and the couple chased one another through the halls of Mullahide. The ghost of the Lord Chief Justice is believed to be the spirit chasing Maud through the corridors of Mullahide. Miles Corbett was hated by almost all of the locals as he had a reign of terror during his short reign at Mullahide. He even tried to eradicate Catholicism and attack the local abbey. Corbett was one of the 59 members of parliament who signed the death warrant for Charles I and a follower of Cromwell. Corbett was granted by Cromwell Mullahide. After the execution of Cromwell and the restoration of the monarchy, Charles II ordered the deaths of all the traitors. Upon hearing this, Corbett fled to the Netherlands and the Talberts returned to Mullahide. When Corbett was caught two years later, he was taken back to Mullahide and executed. His ghost reappears on the anniversary of his death, walking the halls of the castle. His spirit also appears at other times throughout the year, wearing full armor that slowly breaks into four pieces as he was hanged, drawn and quartered from limb to limb. Mullahide's fifth ghost is a visitor favorite, Puck. Puck was a midget. In addition to being Talbert's jester, Puck was also a guard who lived in one of the towers. During the reign of Henry VIII, Lady Eleanor Fitzgerald, a relative, was imprisoned at Mullahide Castle for her rebellious tendencies. Puck for his sins fell in love with the lady. Some say Puck got distracted by the lady and hanged himself for failing to keep guard. Others say Puck was rejected and hanged himself in misery. It was also suggested that the Talberts deemed the match unsuitable and ended it. Most accounts state that Puck was mysteriously stabbed to death just outside the castle walls on a snowy December night. He wore his jester outfit, complete with hat and bell. Puck was found before he died, and with his dying breath he vowed to haunt Mullahide's castle. Puck is now a mischievous ghost who loves to photobomb visitors to the castle. There is another ghost hiding in the halls, the notorious white lady. In the great hall is a painting of an anonymous lady in a flowing white dress. 
On occasion this young woman leaves her portrait and wanders the castle corridors. In addition to the identified spirits, there are a number of unexplained incidents at Malahide Castle. Doors locked by the staff themselves. Open doors slam. Invisible hands push people as they walk down the aisles. Water taps also open and close by themselves. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.